timely. Yet tonight he came across as very, very knowledgeable. I just was having to listen as I was doing an interview with a, a focus group where two of the people made the point that McCain gave them more information about the bailout package. And these were some people in some focus group out on the West Coast. But uh, it's not McCain's, it's not usually thought of as McCain's strength. And it's what the Democrats think they want to run the campaign on. Uh, they better do better than they did tonight. What will they have done? What, what do you think John McCain may have done to convince the independents who are still undecided? I think over and over the subject came back to the fact that he is very independent man. When he's parted with his party, I can tell you he and I disagree on a lot of things. And we have over many years. Uh, that turns out to be a strength for him this year, that he is a maverick, that he is independent minded, that he really can cross over the party lines. And Senator Obama wanted to say that, and he wanted to show examples of that, but they were very insipid compared to what Senator McCain had been involved in. Also, the you know, I don't want to claim to know every fact, so let me just make that right here, but over and over and over, Senator Obama had to say, wait, I didn't say that, or you're not interpreting that the right way or you're mischaracterizing what I say, you know, after a while, you know, you get the impression just maybe he's changed his mind on a lot of this stuff and moved his position on a lot of this stuff. One thing about McCain, I mean, every politician changes his mind, gets new information, but uh, with McCain it's not as frequent as with most. Well, he did Robert, change his mind this week about whether or not to come to the debate, didn't Well, I think you're wrong about that. I think what he said this week was, I'm not going to the debate, we're not going to have a debate until we go to Washington and each one of us, candidates for president, say to our colleagues and to America, I'm going to be the next president of the United States, and one of us is going to be the next president of the United States, and I'm going to put my spear in the ground right now that we have to do something. And I'm not going to try to get in here and negotiate the details with you. I'm not going to get involved in the minutia. But let me just say, we have to do something. And when Senator McCain took the lead, Senator Obama followed that lead. And he went there for that purpose. But he said he, he wouldn't debate unless there was an agreement. Unless there well, was it looks to me like line. they're pretty far along to an agreement. But I think he would be foolish to say, I'm not going to go until there's a bill. Because then the Democrats would say, well, we're not going to let you have a bill. They're the majority. I mean, when I watched Harry Reid today on TV say, now, we want to be bipartisan this, and let me tell you 57,000 bad things about the Republicans. You know, it strains credulity a little bit. How you doing? Hey, what do you, um, but the last three days in Washington, what has it said about the, the ability of these two men to deal with the Democratic Congress as we go forward? Well, as I said, I thought McCain rightly said, if I'm going to be the next president of the United States, I've got to go back to Washington and say to the, my colleagues and to the country, it's important that we do something. It may not be exactly what I want, but we got to do something. Mm -hmm. Obama decided the same thing, mm -hmm. and I'm not critical of either one of them for it. But once McCain did that, it was interesting to me to watch the Harry Reeds of the world say, you know, McCain hurt the deal. McCain kept us from getting an agreement. Well, it was so patently and obviously transparent politics when Harry Reid said that that I wanted to laugh out loud. But I do think Obama was right to say, I'm going to put my spear in the ground too, just like McCain has, and say to the American people, something's got to be done. We're not here to negotiate the details. That's not the President of the United States' job. But one of us is going to be President of the United States. And we're both here to tell you, status quo won't get it. We've got to do something. Whatever we do has got to be done in a bipartisan way. Does this show, though, that McCain will have problems with conservatives in Congress? It shows to me that Obama's got problems with uh, the, the majority in Congress. He came out last Friday in favor of the president's package and had all the wise men of the Democratic Party stand behind him. I thought it was very interesting that the candidate of change on the biggest issue in a generation in America said, I'm for what the president's for. Yet, when he went back up there to do what McCain did, the Democratic Party didn't care what he said. They went off and, and, and as I say, I think they did it because they saw themselves as undermining McCain. You took a hurricane economy and you really made some changes. What would you learn? What did you learn from the hurricane economy here that you would make changes in the United States economy? You learned that you got to make decisions, that it's not obvious what the easy thing is, what the right thing is. When you look at this financial meltdown, uh, there are a lot of things in these packages I don't like. 
But if, if, when you get knocked down flat, or you're in danger of getting knocked down flat like the economy is today, what you learn is you can't get every point right, but you got to act. You got to act so that you can get equilibrium back and then direction. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.